This is your new iPhone 15 Pro Max and there are a couple of reasons you don't need to update to iPhone 15 Pro Max and it is interesting to see the similar features on iPhone 15 Pro Max which we already have seen on iPhone 14 Pro Max. The display of iPhone 15 Pro Max. It comes with the same specification as the last year model. Let me share the change. The only change we get on iPhone 15 Pro Max are slightly smaller bezels. Except that we have the same 120Hz display on iPhone 15 Pro Max. Also, we didn't get any updated peak brightness. We got the same 2000 nits of peak brightness same as last year 14 Pro Max. So this won't make a difference. If these bezels don't affect you, then no need to update. The battery life is another big part. Despite getting a slightly bigger battery on iPhone 15 Pro Max, Apple on official website mentioned the same battery numbers for 15 Pro Max, 29 hours same as 14 Pro Max, which means same amount of battery life, but it will be slightly better which I am sure won't make a big difference. We get 4422 mAh battery compared to 4323 mAh on iPhone 14 Pro Max. The worst part, despite getting a new USB Type-C support on iPhone 15 Pro Max, we got the same charging numbers as last year. Only data transfer speed is updated to 10 gigabit per second, 20 times more than the 14 Pro Max. These are the changes which you won't even feel in your daily life. Although if you want better data transfer speed, sure, 15 Pro Max is a much better option. But for battery or charging speed, there is no big difference you will see on iPhone 15 Pro Max. The cameras are where things getting interesting. There will be two reasons either you should go for 15 Pro Max or stick with the 14 Pro Max. The main camera on iPhone 15 Pro Max is exactly same as 14 Pro Max. A 48 megapixel main shooter and ultra wide lens is also same. But this is where things got interesting. A telephoto sensor is updated from a 3x zoom on iPhone 14 Pro Max to 5x telephoto sensor on iPhone 15 Pro Max. No doubt, if you need a bigger zoom lens, then you should go for iPhone 15 Pro Max. But do you guys really take this much zoomed in shots on your iPhone? If you don't, then 48 megapixel shooter is same as last year. The performance with the new iPhone 15 Pro Max is improved by improving the GPU performance on iPhone 15 Pro Max. But if you don't game a lot, then you won't feel much difference between 14 Pro Max and 15 Pro Max. This could be a reason for update and also not. If you're a gamer, 15 Pro Max is the best choice as it has a ray tracing feature and big games are coming on iPhone 15 Pro Max. But if you don't game on your phone, then 14 Pro Max is still a good option. The price is increased on iPhone 15 Pro Max. We got a 14 Pro Max at $1099, but iPhone 15 Pro Max will cost you $1199, 100 more than the 14 Pro Max. The only reason Apple updated the price is the base model is also updated. A 256 gig version as a base model, with a 128 gig version base model on iPhone 14 Pro Max. So you have your choice. If you need these minor updates, you should go for iPhone 15 Pro Max. If you guys want to see the detailed battery life of iPhone 15 Pro Max, then you should watch this video and I hope you guys are subscribed. I will see you next time. Till then, peace out.